Watchtower Violin, Beirut, take one. Okay, camera speed? Speed. Okay, here we go, guys. All Along a Watchtower is a song, of course, I played in my early rock and roll bands in the 60s and 70s. I don't remember the first time I heard it, but I've heard it a gazillion times like we all have. Definitely my favorite version of that song is Hendrix's version. Well, I think the song to me is a mystery. You know, I don't really know exactly what Bob Dylan was writing about. I, to me, it's more about a feeling. You know, I feel like this is a song about perseverance and going from the darkness to the light. No matter what sort of things are oppressing, harmony and humanity, that we're gonna march through them, you know, and that we're gonna do it as a human race. And I've heard friends play it, mainly guitar players, and it's not a keyboard song, which was kind of interesting when it, I was told that was the song we were playing. I'm like, wow, because you don't look at all along the Watchtower as a keyboard song. Beautiful. Recording uh, all along the Watchtower, we recorded it in a valley on the other side of the island, actually, uh, up in Manoa Valley, very close to where I grew up. This song I've played for years. I've known this song for many years. I've performed it. Music is such a powerful force, whether it be through education or performing with people. There must be some kind of way out of here. We all know the power of music. Said the joker to the thief. There's too much I knew about just playing for change, a movement, and I've always thought of it as a very cool thing. And I was just approached uh, to, to maybe participate in one. recorded in a very cool place. Well, my Uncle Cyril and myself, we went down to the French quarters of, uh, in New Orleans and we recorded at Preservation Hall, which has been a part of New Orleans music for as long as I can remember. It's old and small and very special place where a lot of cool stuff happened. So let us not talk falsely now. The Each of these musicians, they may add just a few little parts, but it makes the song stronger. These videos grow as the song grow, get, as the song goes, so do we add more characters and the track builds. So there's always room to find different cultures and find a way to implement their sound and their style in the song. Since our songs aren't predetermined, you know, we don't know yet what we're going to do until we get there. It's not just a, a cliché, music is a universal language. You can also say things in song that, you know, will go much further than you just talking about it in conversation, you know. Music has no bounds. Music has no, no opinion. Music has no color. I mean, it has colors because it's like a painting. To me, it's like uh, one of the, the, the blessings that we still have left. It's a marvelous feeling to be involved with a project that has intention. And the intention is to uplift. Music is a wonderful carrier of love. And we can use this to teach, to uplift, to heal, to encourage. There's so many ways music has a power to raise the consciousness of this planet. And that's what we're doing each and every day here at Playing for Change.